this year, the Oscars, the Academy Awards, decided not to give Zero Dark Thirty virtually any mention. Basically, because Zero Dark Thirty depicted torture as having led to the capture of Osama bin Laden and presenting it as useful when 149 out of 150 experts interviewed in one article I read who were former interrogators all said that actually establishing rapport with the subject uh, was the best way to get actionable intelligence and in fact it can be proven that torture did not lead to his capture. Instead the Oscar was given to Argo. 30 was made with enormous assistance from the CIA and is considered by many to be virtually a CIA propaganda film as a military has insinuated itself into Hollywood through giving greater access and uh, th this country seems to have in your veneration and worship of its military and police especially in the Hollywood type of media. Now Argo is another film that is deeply offensive and CIA propaganda so in case we can say hurrah Zero Dark Thirty was shunned the CIA propaganda film so the winner is the other CIA propaganda film and Ben Affleck is either severely deluded or a liar because he claims that he was meticulous about facts and virtually every important scene in this movie got it wrong and portrayed the uh, Iranians in an extremely unflattering light. And I'm not going to go into all of the mechanics. You should read this article right here, Oscar Prince of Legend, Argo. It's an excellent article. Then, uh, if, as far as anything political goes at the Oscars, we see that this country has completely lost its stomach for intellectual dissent against the ruling class. Five, uh, I, maybe that's being a bit strong. There were five documentaries nominated for the Academy Award. Four of them were critical of the United States. Guess which one got the documentary? Here we have the five nominees. Five Broken Cameras, the uh, uh, director and creator of this documentary about Palestine uh, was actually stopped harassed at the airport Michael he called uh, Michael Moore and then Michael Moore was attacked by BuzzFeed and that's made a, a, an enormous row unto itself so the more that one digs into the Oscars the more disappointments one's fine the gatekeepers is an excellent documentary about Israel about Shin Beit, which is the equivalent of Israel's uh, FBI or Department of Homeland Security and it shows that most of the former leaders of Shin Beit are completely opposite the current policies of Netanyahu uh, against the Palestinians and actually support Palestinian state in the West Bank and Gaza Strip by and large. How to Survive a Plague about AIDS uh, describes the effort of ACT UP and TAG. ACT UP was an extremely anti-establishment group because of the slow response of the United States in funding research against the AIDS uh, virus. I should say the HIV virus. The Invisible War is about sexual assault in the United States military, which Louis Farrakhan uh, used to contrast the false rumors about uh, Gaddafi forces conducting systematic rape, uh, when in fact the US military has one of the worst records on sexual assault within its own ranks of any military. In the case of five broken cameras, uh, this is about the theft of Palestinian land and how each of the cameras used to document it is eventually smashed or destroyed. It's a very powerful film. And the United States uh, underwrites the state of Israel, which allows the state of Israel to refuse negotiations, fueling. Uh, anti-American sentiment in the Islamic world, which then fuels the war on terror, which fuels the drone attacks, which fuel, fuels anti-Islamic sentiment, and the United States has become like Israel. We have become a fortress because of our policies, which have incited the rest of the world against us. It's a sad day for American cinema craft uh, and the Academy Awards.
Thank you. My name is Alexander Hagen. Good night and good luck.